WCC champions and a dramatic finish. Coach, I can't imagine if you've experienced anything like that in your coaching career. Let's go back to last season now that you've been able to reflect a little bit. How did you address the girls with an abrupt season ending after such an incredible run? Yeah, I mean, definitely was like a magical run that, you know, I think really started in the beginning. I think it was such a, just a great ride. And, and I think as much as anything, what a, what a great experience I think we had with one another. So, you know, I think really that was probably where our message was, is um, as disappointing it was not to be able to play in the NCAA tournament. I think that our team and our group had so many fantastic memories and, you know, being able to, uh, you know, walk off the court, I guess, with a, with kind of a celebration, I, I think is a great way to end the season. Uh, not, not what we wanted, of course, but, I think our group kind of chose to focus on the positives of what happened instead of focus on the things that didn't happen. Obviously going to the NCAA tournament is something that you don't get to experience every day and a lot of us, um, that was definitely like our first opportunity to be in that position. So um, it was kind of like a hundred to zero really fast, but as Mike mentioned, um, we were really thankful. It was an experience that a lot of people didn't get to experience in itself being in that spot at the tournament. So. Um, we had a ton of fun in that run, and we just try to focus on those moments rather than thinking of what it could have been like. So many that are returning. You did lose what some would say is your vocal leader. Who's really stepping into that role right now? Who do you expect to be the vocal leader, Coach? You know, I think we have a combination of just great leadership, and I think on great teams, it's it never really comes down to one player. It, it's a combination of the collective group, and the, the thing that this group, I mean, it, it's just there's so many different aspects to leadership and I think we have so many different players that bring those different things that I couldn't really put it on one person obviously Kate was a great leader and, and had a tremendous senior year uh, but she was just a part of the leadership you know I, I and I think that's the cool thing about the team we have coming back is we still have a lot of the leadership back we have a lot of the character back we you know we are a new team and in you know we we've got to learn how to you know, improve and grow together. But um, leadership definitely has been something that's been really strong throughout last year. Haley, what is it about his coaching that makes you guys so successful? What type of coach is he? Um, he's definitely just really bought into the fundamentals of basketball. He's really does a great job of teaching um, basketball from like the very first skill, which is dribble moves and finishing at the rim. So we focus a lot on that. And what makes him a great coach, I think, is just he's so invested in our personal life and our personal well-being that he really wants to make, have a great experience here at college. With the coaches poll coming out and your current ranking, do you guys feel like they got it right? And does that just motivate you even more? Haley, let's start with you. I think with our team, we've never really been heavily focused on the polls. Like you can never know what to expect because obviously a prime example was last year we got picked 10th and ended up winning it. So I think um, in this league, anything can happen. And we're just grateful that we were lucky enough to pick third, but obviously we want to go back and win the championship again. The biggest thing is knowing that um, we, we had that in the past and now we just have even more to prove and just even more to improve on as a team. Um, and just trying to focus on ourselves and just continuing to get better and just like get better from what we did last year um, and just focus more into the future rather than keeping looking at the past. But we're excited um, and it will definitely be good um, to keep getting better from there. Coach, do you put much into the polls? You know, I, I, I love the fact that, you know, the coaches, I, I feel like to put our team in a lot more respect, I guess, than, than where we were a year ago. But at the same time, not really. I don't think we put a whole lot into it other than, you know, Let's go, right? Let's let's. We just got things to work on, and uh, let's just keep moving forward.